So what is going on guys it's triple g here back with another borderlands 3 video and today is december's edition of the monthly update which covers all things borderlands what has gone on in the game and what speculation is around in the game guys if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video so first of all let's talk about the weapon buffs themselves now there has been a ton of dlc weapons that have actually been buffed and some of these are really interesting so we have items like the slow hand we have the soul render some of these items have also had buffs to the percentages of health as well which is really interesting when you couple that with the items that are in arms race it seems like gearbox might be tipping us towards some really hard content in the future another thing that's been added to the game this month is the co-op mini event which runs until january 17th this event boosts the amount of legendaries that drop from badasses the more people you have in your party and does actually impact arms race as well so if you are looking for some of the pinnacle weapons in the game grab yourself a party and go for it next up on the list we have the community event in game rush which kind of took over the twitch directory and the community over the last couple of weeks those of you who aren't familiar this was a community challenge run by myself and it involved you completing both true takedowns the three slaughter stars and the actual six proving grounds in as fast as possible time congratulations to garwood on pc that did it in just under one hour and 20 minutes and shadow assassin who actually beat the console times as well these categories were split out because of console load times but the times that they have completed these challenges were absolutely incredible garwood did a sub 20 minute true guardian takedown which absolutely blows my mind look out on new year's eve on the bordercast for the next challenge which will start on the 2nd of january this new event will be much more inclusive will have separate categories so everybody no matter whether you're on console or whether you're on pc will feel like they have a chance to appear on the leaderboards make sure you're following my twitter account to make sure that you see all the updates around this competition and all the leaderboards so you can brag off to your friends also on the subject of twitter as well we did get a little bit of a hint from randy over the last week so somebody tweeted out for randy that they would like to see raid bosses and a bit of changes to the health scaling and actually what happened was randy responded with stay tuned now he has done this before when someone was mentioning bunkers and badasses and then lo and behold a couple of weeks later they announced the bunkers and badasses board game so whilst it might not be directly in the game this was specifically about raid bosses and we know that door to ascension bluff is there so it may be that it's coming directly down the line the director's cut is only months away now the final thing on the list is the mods in borderlands 3 the modern community has been hard at work and have produced some excellent mods for pc players at this current time you can see randomizers you can make enemies tiny huge anything you want at the moment there is a ton of mods already out there they are finalizing and fixing a couple of the bug fixes but make sure to check out shadow evils discord if you want access to them they should be coming out tomorrow which is christmas eve expect these to dramatically change the game if you want to remove anointments change the scaling or just absolutely make borderland 3 bonkers guys that's it for today's video if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise I'll catch you on the flip.